can learn about farming in the classroom, or you can take the class to the farm. Amanda Chamberlain is in Harriman at <laughs> Farm Field Day today. So uh, what are you doing? Well, okay, not to be cheesy, but we're here learning all these facts about milk and dairy. We have Jim Bridger, elementary school here. You guys say hi. <laughs> okay, we taught, we we did a cheer earlier. When I say channel two, you say moo. Channel two. Moo. Channel two. Moo. Okay, what are we learning here today at Farm Field Days, thanks to the Dairy Council? Well, we're learning today about how we can get milk through different products and how the milk gets from a cow to all the way to us, how we get it in the grocery stores. Okay, so we have some props here. That is one honkin' bottle. What is that for? This is to feed the baby cows, and it's really important that baby cows get the nutri nutrition that they need because they can't eat uh, hay and silage like big cows Just can. Like this. So we feed them with a the bottle until they're old enough. And that, that's a lot of TLC needed. And also, okay, you guys think you have some big vitamins to take, Ron, but uh, these cows, I think, have you beat. Show them the size of that pill. What is that? That is a vitamin that keeps the cows healthy and disease-free throughout their lives. Can you believe that? Okay, kids, have you been learning a lot about cows today and dairy, where your food comes from? Who, who does uh, milk on their cereal? Raise your hand. Yeah, okay, I think pretty much everyone here is a milk drinker. So we'll have plenty more facts coming up for you a little bit from Farm Field Days here at Butterfield Farms in Harriman, guys. Wow, fun and learning something. That's good to see. All Thanks, right, Amanda. Good stuff. Thank you. All right, time to check back in with Amanda, learning about farming. Yeah, the Farm Field Day. Now, were you ever a farm girl, Amanda, or are you a city girl? Uh, I, I told you, I think, before, I'm kind of a desert girl. I'm from Reno, Nevada, <laughs> so I've oh. been a, around livestock, but I wouldn't say I'm a hard worker by any means. Not as hard <laughs> as a farmer, right? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Well, I'm here with some hard workers. These are the gals from the Dairy, Ambas or from the dairy Council. And what did you guys have to do to earn these sashes? Well, we had to do an interview process and we had to present a platform to several judges that know a lot about the dairy industry. And, and so these ladies have been schooling me as well as, uh, would you say thousands of elementary school kids today? It sure seems like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, and we're learning the importance of agriculture, where our food comes from, where our dairy comes from, and also how hard our farmers work to bring this to us. So we're here with Clay Butterfield. We're here on Butterfield Farm. So how are you related? Uh, she's my cousin. Oh, so, perfect. Yeah, so we're close friends and, and good cousins. Yeah. And I, I actually taught agriculture for 35 years at Bingham High School. Oh, did you really? Yeah. So I'm I, sure you have so a lot I'm of back, students. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and we, I was going to introduce you as you and you, because this is a you. This is a you, yeah. <laughs> okay. It's a female sheep. She's about two years old. She's had a baby already. And We're not sure where her baby is, but it's here close. So, so is she uh, used to fighting you? No, the... I'm a sheep whisperer, so they don't. <laughs> it's not a problem. Well, looks I like she's asleep right her. now. Uh, she is, yeah. <laughs> so how do we shear a sheep? Well, we, it looks we like you're two thirds done. Like this, yeah. We're mostly done, but we use a shear like this. It's electric. We simply turn it on. This is the comb and the cutter, and then we just turn it on. Hopefully, less cutting. Uh huh. Yeah. And we just. Run it along their body. Oh, wow. Does it hurt? No, it's just like getting a haircut. If you if it hurts the sheep, then you gotta fire the barber. <laughs> <laughs> so 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 that you is not even moving a peep. No, she's happy to be here. She you can imagine you can imagine this sheep in July. <laughs> With this wool on, it'd be like having your winter coat on in July. You can imagine how comfortable. She's like, get this off of me. Exactly. And so this sheep, we do them a favor by shearing them, and they do us a favor by giving us all the materials, like sweaters and coats and blankets and so on. So well, they're, they're great it. animals. Well, thank you thank so you. much, Clay, for showing me Thanks how. For coming out. And you can come down to Farm Field Days here at Butterfield Camp. Butterfield Canyon, Butterfield Field Farms in Harriman. Right, yeah. Okay, back to you guys. Close would, to Butterfield Canyon. Yeah, that, that would make a wonderful sweater vest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think the sheep could probably hang on to those coats for